What is going on, Punk Nation, and welcome back to another Lambo Mods video. We got exclusive early access to the November mods. So we got it basically, I think, about two weeks early. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, about two weeks early. So we have a lot to cover. We're going to make a whole nother video because there's like, um, I can show you. There's a build it stuff. So like a flat board and stuff. And then you got this large axle. So just think about the stuff that you could build. You got this other axle. You can build a wall. Maybe that can be for like a home building series when we get back into summer. So we're going to start off with this. We have a chess game that you can actually move the chess pieces. So you can go into multiplayer, play some chess. This is all Star Wars theme. It's got its own light. Um, just kind of like the lights here in the parking lot of Walmart. So now we got some cool vehicles. We have a custom trailer for the snowmobile. Got some Star Wars speed bike. This is a pretty nice truck. Let's get its full name. So we have the 1941 COE Chevy, the Peterbilt 352, the Polaris Thirsty Cutter. Got the snowmobile and the snowmobile trailer. Now, it's in off road vehicles, it won't be in actual trailers, it'll be in his section. Which is right here. This is all where Winston stuff is. That is, uh, very loud. This is pretty cool. Let's turn the Very, very nice truck. And then you had the log rack. Hope you guys could have heard me through all that. So here's the log truck. We put a trailer on it. We got the Peterbilt here. I like the front bumper. There's a couple different options. We got the cat wheels. I want to remind everybody that all his stuff is on his Patreon. Public or not, it is on his Patreon. I know everybody's not a big fan of the whole Patreon scheme, but this is this is what the farming center community has gone to. You like it or you don't. So here's the Polaris. Oh, he's got the same steering wheel from his, um, dragster. That's cool. And honestly, where are you going to find these mods? Like, if you want to support somebody, like, Lambo is the guy. Like, he's the first guy to put a chess game into this game. It's freaking awesome. Because now you can pick up objects and be like, yep, I'm going to go right there. And the other guy be like, okay, I'm, I'm white. You know, or however you want to do it. So, there you go. Let's test out this trailer. We'll take this truck. Fun fact, it's actually still sitting here from when I did the Walmart video. So that's been like a month ago. Oh, that is so cool. So if you guys missed it, I did a snowmobile video. Now we have a dedicated trailer. Oh, this looks amazing. Walk inside. 
Looks cool. Oh, badass. We can actually put stuff on this grate. So we can haul some other stuff. Definitely some Star Wars. Pretty cool. So this is going to be your first set of mods for uh, November. He said he's going to be out of town in the first part of the month. So he's got his stuff ready to go, ready to be released on November 1st. And then hopefully we'll hear from Winston probably be around November 1st. So there's actually going to be two videos this uh, November for the patreon video actually probably three because we'll have to do the uh, build it mod too hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to smack that like button make sure to share the video we need to get that video out we need to get these videos out more bro you know like you know 45 views ain't gonna cut it so if you guys want me to continue to make videos i don't care about the hateful comments i can give a flying fuck about what joey said so I can give two cents about that. I don't give a fuck. Let's do this right. Let's get this channel back on board. Uh, I was a little sick over the weekend, but we are back. That's why I skipped the Tuesday upload, the 22nd, but we are back. Done with college. I got way more free time. About to get that class, class D license for the package cars at UPS. Things are going to be better. Uh, hopefully MetroNet will be coming in soon. They're about 50% eh, on construction. I think they want to be running here in about two years. So hopefully we get some better um, internet because Mediacom is not cutting. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please share the videos. Let's get this channel back to where it was. I do love making content, but if the views are not there, it's not going to hype me up. And if you're somebody that says, oh, the views is what's driving you, well, it kind of is. If you get no views, you get no attention, you get no audience, how long would you last of making content? Ask yourself that. How long would you make content? If you put 15, you know, I don't know, 6 to 7 hours into a video, and then another 5 hours editing it, and you got no views, how much longer would you do that? You know, maybe not be about the money, but you got to have some attention to that video so you feel satisfied. And right now, I don't feel satisfied for even making a 10-minute video. And then having to spend, you know, almost an hour probably, you know, editing the videos and recording more so that I don't have to record every single day. So let's get these views up. Do your part as a subscriber. If you don't want to be a subscriber... Well, our interests change over time, and I get it, what Joey was saying, but you don't have to come off strong like that. I get it. Everybody's interests change, you know. Some YouTubers, I'm really, like, I'm always going to come home, sit down and watch them, and then maybe a month later, I lose interest in their video. But I'm not going to go to their video and talk trash about them like Joey did. I'm going to simply just walk away, go find somebody else to watch. So you don't have to be a rude asshole about it. You can simply walk away or maybe just take a break. You know, maybe the content will get better or he's going through a change of his content because of YouTube. Hint, that's what I'm going through. We'll see you guys later.